What is going on YouTube, Tempest H here with another video and today we're going to be testing out the new variant for Call of Duty World War 2. It's free, you can get it via special orders and it's called the Old Captain for the bar and I'm really loving this. I love the color of the gun. It's basically like the dude up but it's just a different color and uh, I'm a big fan of it and uh, it's really good. I really enjoy it. It kills really fast. I don't know what it is about it but I just really like it. So here's some gameplay I'm showing you and uh, I'm trying to get some streaks. I got the carpet bombing and the paratroopers with the UAV and uh, it wasn't so hard because uh, when I used the assault rifle I tried to play more passive and wait for the enemies to come to me. It's not technically camping since I'm running around the map and just running on one side. It's not like I'm camping in the corner being boring. I'm actually running around the map just trying to you know, high behind cover and trying to pick off as much guys as possible. And yeah, after this gameplay, you're going to see some STG gameplay. And I also put up 50 kills in one other match. And just enjoy while I uh, commentate over this gameplay here. So there's been a lot of uh, Call of Duty news uh, recently. Uh, there's uh, one thing I want to talk about is uh, there's been rumors of a Modern Warfare 4 being made next year. And uh, I got this information from Charlie Intel, which is a very legitimate source. And the voice actor from uh, Modern Warfare 3, his name is Craig Fairbrass. And he is sparking a lot of uh, rumors in the Call of Duty community on his Twitter bio. So if you just go look over his Twitter bio under the name Craig Fairbrass, he's a British actor. Rise of the Foot Soldier, 1-2-3, I don't know if you guys know that, Dale was playing on St. George's Day. He was also featured in all the Marvel Warfare games, and he voiced uh, Gaz and Ghost, so, and Wallcroft, like all these British characters in the Call of Duty universe, and I'm pretty sure you guys uh, know those characters, so I'm pretty sure this guy's pretty famous for that, and uh, there was a uh, confusion here, guys. People weren't sure if this guy was joking or not, but then uh, if you look down under his profile picture it would say modern warfare one two three and four so i don't know why there would be a four there since we haven't heard any news yet and still that's a, still a long way to go that's still next year and black Ops 4 still hasn't been revealed and we're waiting for that trailer and i don't know why he would have four it must be a mistake or it could be true so i'm not too sure about this and he has tweeted bit of a confusion and overreaction here as I've always had the five COD games I've worked on on my mini bio on Twitter. Any clarification need just look on IMDB. And uh, people have checked IMDB and uh, there was no Marvel for 4 whatsoever. So I found that pretty interesting. I don't know. Maybe maybe there is a Marvel 4. Maybe he was just teasing people. I'm not too sure about that. But I, I would love to see a Marvel for 4 because I really love the Marvel for series. You know, just thinking that we're going to get a Marvel for 2 remastered next month is going to excite more players and for an, a sequel to the Marvel Warfare trilogy. I got some more news for you guys. Domination XL is now live in World War 2 through March 26. So yeah, this is the last day. Uh, I'm kind of late on this one. And uh, what the difference is, is, instead of 75 points per kill, I believe it's 100 points per kill now versus the, oh actually it was 50 points before and now it's 100 points. And uh, a lot of people requested this, um, I'm pretty sure people are happy with this and I'm glad they're listening to the community on what they uh, want for uh, updates to the game and I uh, haven't tried it yet but uh, yeah this is the last day so I might play a few matches but it's not so different from the know standard domination uh, so yeah guys uh, if you want to uh, know how to get better at Call of Duty uh, just leave in the comments below if you want some tips I'll make a tips and tricks video you know I'll try my best to give you the best tricks possible um, from what I know in Call of Duty because I've been playing Call of Duty for a very long time ever since uh, Modern Warfare 2 so I have plenty of experience and uh, mostly all the COD games I played, I usually have a over 2.10 KD. And uh, yeah, guys, just let me know and uh, I'll get that started for you guys. I'll start working on a video like that if you guys would like to see that. So. 
Thanks guys for watching the video. This has just been an update, you know, just going on around the Call of Duty community, just checking Charlie Intel every day, seeing what's new, the latest articles, and uh, just enjoying a chill gameplay in the background. And you can probably learn from the gameplay too if you uh, want to learn how I play the game. So yeah, you guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, this is Tempest HQ, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Recon flight concluded. Enemy recon aircraft in the air. Paratroopers in route. Mark the drop zone. Paratroopers in the air. <laughs> Breaking their backs. Excellent work. The fatherland endures.